Hey guys! Long time no see! It is now August 8th and the last time we really saw you was over a month ago. This is the first time where we've really just taken time off and gone on a holiday and for holiday for us means switching the camera off. But we're not very good at that. We're not very good at that. <laughs> so for the last three weeks, we've had an amazing time with our good friends, the Grin Series, road tripping through the southeast of America. And we kind of picked up the camera for a few moments here and there. <laughs> so we've decided to put all those moments together into a video for us and the Grin Series to look back on and also to share with you guys what we've been up to over the last month. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, a brand new series starts straight after this one. Enjoy, guys. We're just tuning in. We're kind of doing a little road trip through the south of America, currently with some friends, and it started in Orlando. We did some theme parks, mm -hmm. lots of theme parks. But now we have left Florida and driven all the way up to Georgia. So on our way up to Georgia, we stopped off at Daytona Beach, and there are signs actually saying that this was the world's most famous beach. So now we can say that we have swam in the waters of the world's most famous <laughs> beach. On the way to Jacksonville, we're having a very quick stop at Daytona Beach, which is famous for the Daytona NASCAR, and I'm kidding you not, the only reason I know about this place is the little Daytona racing car game that will be at like time zone. Did you ever oh, play it? Oh yeah, that's how I've heard of this place. <laughs> oh, the world for me. All the world's flee. You're all I need. After that, we headed up to St. Augustine on a few of your guys' recommendations. The special reason you would come and stop here and explore is because this is the oldest town in America. So this is founded in the 1500s by the Spanish. So we're currently walking through the old town and it's really cool because it's just a short little narrow street. We're walking down and have the colonial looking houses. They were saying there was a lot of pirates in the area, so even though it's the oldest town, it's been like burnt and ransacked so many different times, but still walking down here is super unique. And not only that, there is a pizza shop there that claims that they have the second best pizza in all of the US. <laughs> so of course we had to go get ourselves a slice. Alright, ready to try the second best slice of pizza in America? Second best slice of pizza. Who would have thought going to this old colonial city and we're here to try the pizza? <laughs> oh my god. That's good. That's a good slice of pizza. I'm most excited for the garlic balls. Look at this. I've never seen garlic balls yeah, before. With homemade marinara sauce. And for some reason, ever since this road trip has started, Stephen has basically turned into the third big kid in the back of the van. So we're going to be in Savannah for the next two days and we've just checked into seriously one of the nicest Airbnbs we've ever stayed in. We need to give you a tour and then we need to go and explore Savannah. Wow, it's like a gigantic almost mansion that we've checked into. We got a super good deal as well. I think it was like two, two fifty a night and it will pretty much fit the entire eight person party. opened it. I wouldn't open that one. What is it? <laughs> Steve opened it and went BOOM! <laughs> Heavy as door. I've been away Alright everyone, welcome long. to Savannah. We've stopped off at the first stop. It's called River Street and we are right on the Savannah River and so far this place looks so beautiful. We've, we've never been to a city where it's basically every block is a square. So you literally walk down the road and then there's this beautiful green square. You walk down the next block, another beautiful green square. Also, a lot of Forrest Gump was filmed here, which we had no idea. Even like the chair where he says, life is like a box of chocolates. Is that <laughs> <laughs> That's here. And so many people would come and take photos there that they literally had to remove it and put it in a museum. 
to stop the traffic. This was one of the many squares that Jess was talking about and the way that they've designed it just makes the city look so green. I'm so glad so many of you recommended for us to come here because it really reminds me of the Garden District in New Orleans. It definitely has that southern feel to it. So I wasn't sure where we were going. I was kind of just walking around just following the pack. And if you guys don't know anything about Jess is that she will find an ice cream shop if there is a very long line. And I think we found the most popular one here in Savannah, Leopold's. And yep, there is a line. Line up. How good is this ice cream? Well, if I see a hundred year old ice cream place, I have to get a scoop. And the one flavor they've been doing for the entire hundred years is lemon custard. So would you I get? may have had a taste inside. It is amazing. Hey, if it's good enough for Morgan Freeman. It's so good. Yeah, Morgan Freeman came here. <laughs> <laughs> Centenary of their um, establishment opening. We just wanted to quickly pause this video to say thank you to Rav Power for sponsoring this video and helping make this travel series possible. They recently brought out the Rav Power File Hub, which is perfect for your next trip. This little device has quite a few features which we've been using on this road trip. The first one is how easy it is to back up your SD cards from your camera and onto an external USB or hard drive without using a laptop. Easily take your SD card out your camera, plug it in with a USB, click the transfer button and it will start creating a backup of your photos and videos from your camera's SD card. You can also then copy photos onto your phone using the wireless backup feature and then upload it straight to Facebook or Instagram. There are also a couple of bonus features including a built-in external battery hub. So if you're running out of juice on your trip, if you're on a plane or a bus, you can probably charge most phones about two times using the built-in battery hub. Once again, we just wanted to say a big thank you to Rav Power for helping make this travel series possible. I've included an Amazon link below if you were interested in picking it up. It will help support those who help support us. But thanks so much for watching and back to the video. Guys, it's the next day. We have driven out to a be like beautiful island. It's called it is so cool, I wanna live here. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Tybee Island and today is a beach day. Everyone just wants to relax, go on the beach, maybe get some iced coffees. It is so cool, there's like little beach shacks here. They're all really colorful. Also, another reason I'm excited to come to Tybee Island is I love the movie The Last Song with Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and they filmed like, basically the entire movie here which is really cool, but we are now walking along the boardwalk right now, going to the going to the beach. A pod of dolphins literally just swam past us. Really? Where? This is so cool, they went over there. I think I'm falling in love with Savannah. You kind of have that historical town, and then you drive across to an island, and you have like pristine beaches with cute little huts. Plays like a movie in my mind. You've always been you here in my here. life. The road trip continues. Yeah. Today we are off to a new state. We're going to South Carolina to Charleston. Excited? I'm excited. I can't believe how many states and parts of the US we're able to tick off on this little week long road trip. Also, do you know what's been fun? We bought a couple of these, been running around. I hope you guys have been enjoying the, uh, the low budget disposable shots that we've been taking with this. Kind of reminds me of when we used to do holidays back in like the 90s and early 2000s. Seriously, just look at this. There's a little jetty looking out with that view. We've just been relaxing at our new Airbnb and it kind of feels like, you know those summer movies, those American summer movies where they just come out to their lake house and they just relax by a big lake. This is what it feels like. There's people going jet skiing on the lake. There's also a bunch of boats going around. We've been swimming in the pool, which has been so much fun. It's been a nice little road trip, kind of relaxing, also switching off the camera. Kind of don't do that too often. So it's been, it's been super nice. Welcome to Charleston, everybody. We have just arrived and it's actually a Saturday. So we've dumped our bags at our Airbnb and they have like a Saturday market. So we're just gonna walk through some local artists have made some different works and some people are selling some things. So Jess is kind of looking for some little trinkets, having a little look around. Nice little easy Saturday. 
I just love when a neighborhood all gets involved with coloring the houses. We're currently on Rainbow Row and as you can see all the different houses have been colored. Ready? Hold on. Mission for the grilled cheese I think is a success. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh my, that is a grilled cheese! <laughs> By the middle. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. A record stuck on replay Been a great song and dance But it's time to put it away I Listen as the boat pulls Um, is that I let it be, even real? Stuck oh, no! Oh, no! Alright, so what happens is we're on this driving range she waves this. Then it knows it's my ball. Oh, there it goes. Alright. Alright, Jess's first time. She's never done golfing before. I've never hit like a golf ball before. She's I've done mini golf. golf. Oh. <laughs> Let's do that again. Maybe I'm. Whoa! That work at all. <laughs> wow. And maybe not lift your legs up. And bend them, your knees a little bit. Not that much. Okay. Now one, three times and on the third one, one hit it. Two. Three. Yeah! Okay. It's your green Steve. It's gonna roll in. Yeah. You did! Victory did! <laughs> Pretty cool. Just around the corner from where we're staying, they put on food trucks every Thursday night. It's literally just a little suburb with about 10 different food trucks. I wish they did this back in Perth because if there's food trucks in Perth, there's literally one in the city. This is like in a neighborhood and we found a place that did fish and chips. Ooh. American fish and chips. We... I wonder if it'd be good as at home. How beautiful are the suburbs here in Salt Lake City? This one has its own pond and you can see all the houses just around it. And, of course, because we're in Utah, there's just mountain ranges pretty much everywhere. Okay guys, so we've made our way out to Park City. It is basically like the Whistler of Utah. So they actually held their Winter Olympics here. And there are a bunch of activities that you can do in the winter and in the summer. And four years ago, we came out here, had miserable weather, could barely do anything. So we're rectifying that, we've come out again. And this time we're gonna hit up all the rides because I feel like that is the theme of our uh, US road trip. We just keep going to theme parks. You ready? This looked intense by the way. We had to take an entire chairlift to the top of this mountain and then we're about to slide down the mountain from this thing. Too scary. Okay, so last time we were here, we did this ride and I thought it was the tamest ride because I didn't realize how it actually worked. And now I'm getting flashbacks of how this ride worked. <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously, 
There's no seatbelt! No! Oh, oh, Okay, we're good. Let's go! Woo! I am so excited that we finally get to film one of these. Over the last two weeks, this wasn't even on our radar. And the Grin series have introduced us to escape rooms. This is our fifth one. We're currently locked inside a Harry Potter escape room. Let's see what we need to use this for. So do you just want to try different spells at this? Like this? <gasps> you did it! Whoa. A lock! <gasps> what have you found? Another lock? And it's a word lock. Oh, and it says it omit the E. Yes. Oh! What's that? That's the Horcrux. <gasps> we found, found a snake! Horcrux. All right, Horcrux one done. All righty guys, I found a numbered lock. <gasps> hey. Yay! Ooh, who wants to put the hand in? No. Bailey, Bailey, you do it. You put your hand in there and grab whatever it is. I the one. Okay. Oh, but I don't want to touch yeah, it. Yeah, you can do it, it Bailey. Oh, what is it? Whoa, it just opened up. <laughs> oh, 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 this is so goodness, cool. Girls. All right. Okay, how many things do we have left? We've got the snake, the goblet, the locket, the ring. We still need the crown and the diary. Oh, I got something. There's a lock. Alrighty, we are onto the final clue. I think this is the final Horcrux. And we have five minutes left. All right, go, go, go. Does it open it? Ready? Ready, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> five minutes left, go. Oh, 
Hello. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Emma, Emma, Emma. Never gonna lose you. Exactly. Yeah, that's a little bit different, you know. That I may see you in the distance A refuge Happy birthday to you Hooray! Hooray! Forever brother, every stranger Oh, 